the water. Kai. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All praises to Ahaya Kisad. That's all praises to Anoki said. That's all praises to the great I am loving kindness. Bahashem Yeshaya. Bahashem Moza the Lamb. In the name of the Messiah. The Hamasiyah. Shalom family. This is little son Sabal Nabaya. Family, I know a lot of times I put together these lessons and these lessons, they have a lot of meat in them. They have a lot of substance. And it requires you to go into all these books and it requires you to break down all these words. And I'm not going to stop doing that. But I wanted to do something for you. Something a little different for the edification of the body. I wanted to start this tiny little series on deeper meaning. Or maybe I'll call it deeper explanations. I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm not decided yet. I'm not decided on what I will call it. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go on a subject and we're just going to talk about it. I'm going to talk to you about revelations that I have had. And you can, of course, go and study these things out in the scripture. If you have questions about where something is found, just put it in the comments and I will gladly tell you where to go. But I didn't want to have that type of pressure on you today. I just wanted you to be able to listen, contemplate and learn, grow and be edified. So family, today, today what we're going to talk about is the wind. We're going to talk about the wind because let me tell you, there's a difference between reading something in scripture and understanding the mechanics of it and when you actually know when that thing actually is in your belly. I'm talking about when it resonates with your spirit, when you really understand a thing. And what I'd like to do is share with you that kind of, what's the word? Resonance. Because I want it to resonate in your belly. So family, the first thing I want to discuss with you is the fact that the word for wind and the word for spirit is the same in the Hebrew. That word is Rawak or Ruach. Rawak or Ruach. Family, we already know, we have talked about on numerous occasions, we have talked about the way that Rahaviel, we have talked about how Rahaviel is the watcher, the holy watcher, whose element is the wind. But family, we have also talked about how one of the 24 conditions is named Ruach. And that condition is simply the breeze that blows upon you. Family, the truth of that condition 
is that you are meant to have eternal life in Elda with Anoki said, with the Father, with the Most High, our power. Do you understand that? And family, this condition, it protects, it protects your hope of the future of your life with the Lord and it protects you from the fear of dying. Now family, what you have to do is you have to connect this Ruach, this spirit, the Holy Spirit. We have to connect, to connect the Holy Spirit back to the Garden of Eden. Because family, in the Garden of of Eden I want you to understand that there was no wind <laughs> I sound like a crazy person now but seriously there was no wind that was blowing in Eden in Eden Adam and Eve did not experience any wind but then they sinned. And when they left Eden to come into the temporal world, they felt a breeze. And family, what I want you to understand is that breeze, that wind that they felt was the condition that is Ruach. But also family, that condition was our loving father sending his Holy Spirit into the temporal realm. Understand what was going on. The temporal world needed his Holy Spirit. So the Spirit manifested itself in the wind. And now we understand why the words for Spirit and wind are the same in Hebrew because our ancestors family understood this they understood what was going on spiritually so family beyond that beyond simply understanding it when you go outside into your world and you feel the wind First of all, acknowledge the fact that the wind is something that none of us can escape because it is the mechanism by which we breathe. The breath family, the breath that was went, the breath of life that went into, that went into our, oh, look at that squirrel. Where'd that squirrel go? Look at that. <laughs> Okay, sorry, let me, let me get back on track. So family, the very breath that we breathe that goes into our chest is the breath of life, family. Understand that the Father loves us so much that His Holy Spirit is present when we draw our breath. That's why we can't hide anything from the eyes of the Father. Rahaviel means the sight of God or the eyes of God. Are you hearing me, family? I'm letting you know that when you draw breath, you can't hide anything because all your secrets are in you. <laughs> So don't think that you're getting away with anything. And family, every time, every time you go outside and you see the wind blowing in the leaves of a tree, or you see the wind pushing the clouds, along their way as they pass by, as the Father passes by, because we know he's in 
the thick clouds. <laughs> Every time you see the wind kissing the grass on the ground and just blowing so beautifully in the grass and every time you feel the wind blowing in your hair on your face upon your skin well family don't you know don't you know that what you're experiencing is the father's love for his creation he loves family so much that he sends his Holy Spirit to caress us to love on us <laughs> family we always talk about the invisible God but family look the wind is invisible you can't see it but you know it's there because you feel it and you're able to see everything else experience it you breathe it it brings you smells family you can even hear it you can hear the wind family when it blows fiercely whipping around you and it is a sound that I love to hear so many people have a problem with the wind. And they talk about how it's cold and blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you something. Stop complaining and enjoy the wind when it blows. Because imagine a world without the wind. <laughs> Imagine that. They say, and you know, they say a lot of stuff, but they say there's no wind on the moon. Well, it's a barren, dry place. Let them tell it. The, wind, the moon looks like there's no wind on it. Now, I say that to say this. I don't trust anything they say because we ain't been up there we ain't seen it for ourselves and NASA well that's a word that means to deceive so they could be deceiving you about everything they're telling you about what's beyond the firmament so family I'm going to leave you to contemplate and to think about the wind, about the Ruach, about the Ruach. I'm going to leave you to think about how the Father sent his Holy Spirit into the temporal world. It is the reason why the Bible says that after Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, that it was the cool of the day you see, family, in the cool of the day is when the wind blows. But they didn't experience the wind until after they sinned. So think about that, family. Think about, think about the wind and the effects of it. And let that enter into your heart. Let that enter into your belly and resonate with you. Family, if you were edified today, I ask you to please leave a comment in the comment section. And if you have anything to contribute, either in knowledge about the wind, about Rahaviel or the Holy Spirit, please leave that in the comments. And... If you have any questions, leave your questions in the comments. I pray that y'all were edified today in these few minutes. With that said, family, the water, Kai, all praises to Anoki said, Bahashim Moza, the Lamb. 
This is little son Sabal Nabaya saying much love and much shalom.